Hello everyone, in this video we want to practice one way and a wall. Basically in one way and a wall, we have uh, different sample data and based on those sample data, we want to uh, see if at least one of these uh, population means are significantly different from others. Basically, our H0 will be equality of all populations data. Here we have uh, five sample data of those populations in five different columns. Alternatively, at least one of them differs from the rest. So let's do it. I go to stat, ANOVA, and one way. One way ANOVA is equivalent to uh, two sample t tests with pooled variances, which in pooled variances are the same as one way ANOVA. We assume uh, we assume that means uh, the variances are almost same. Here, if for first option, I choose having data in different columns. So then I click inside responses and select my columns by clicking on them. So I click on mini, poo, ball, obby, pink panther. Then in options, I keep it to be 95 person and assume equal variances. Then in comparisons, I can, I can have some method for finding the differences of their means. Basically, there is five method, Tuki, Fisher, which in, with them can find confidence interval of the differences. Basically, each of them. Uh, does paired wise mean differences comparisons and make a confidence interval for the differences of uh, paid of the means. So in done it, you can find you can basically find the basic population and then compare their means as this uh, with this uh, basic population. Basically, you you see com different confidence intervals of differences mean uh, poo with mini, bob with mini, obby with mini, and pink panther with mini. Also, I, uh, I select the HSU method. Also, I uh, select the test options and click OK, then OK. Look at the uh, uh, interval plots. As you see, it seems uh, at least uh, two of the two or three of the populations are significantly different from each other, and uh, these brackets basically shows the thresholds of ninety five percent confidence interval. Look at the HSU. You see the uh, differences of the means through confidence interval, basically 95% competition of uh, their means. In the center, we assume there is zero differences and we have thresholds for 95 percentile. And you see the same uh, done with Donut method. In the Fisher, basically there is a paid bars, uh, mean uh, differences, competitions and confidence interval and the two key tests. Let's look at the result of one-way ANOVA. As you see, p-value is almost zero, way more less than 0 0.05, which is our alpha level, because we assume 95% uh, confidence interval for one-way ANOVA, uh, zero is way more less than 0 0.05. So, we reject H null in one way and all, which is equality of all means, and we conclude at least one of the means uh, differs from the rest. It, based on one way and all figures, is pretty much obvious.
here you see the 95% confidence interval for the each population means based on the sample data. In the two key, it categorizes it in three different classes. So basically, it assumes mean and obi has almost the same means, bob and Bu have the same means, and pink panther differ significantly from the rest. Here you see the result of two key tests. Basically, 95% um, confidence interval for the differences of Pu and Mini. Bob and Mini basically paid various comparisons. As you see, 2 choose 5 is equal to 10. So you, you have 10 different uh, confidence interval of the means differences. You see the result of Fisher method. Donut method Look at the result of Donut and the p-values Again, our confidence interval was 95% so alpha is 1 minus 95 1 minus 0 0.95 is equal to 0.05 It seems all that many their p-value is uh, way more larger than 0 0.05. It seems there is no evidence for saying that their means are significantly differ, differs from each other. Okay, that's for today. But uh, just keep in mind, uh, if you assume, uh, we, if we could assume that their uh, variances of these five populations are almost same, equivalently we can use pooled Tetis. Thank you.